from uh, first, first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 13 and it says but we do not want you to be uninformed brothers about those who are asleep that you may not, may not grieve as others do who have no hope for since we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so through Jesus God will bring him with him those who have fallen asleep for this we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. Praise God for His word. At this point, we will be singing a song of worship. So if you have your program with you, please refer to the first song entitled Goodness of God. Let us sing this song of God. Darkest night, you 
Shepherd will never forsake us even in the darkest season ng ating buhay. Even when things do not make sense, even in our most broken moments, God is with us. That is the very meaning of the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. That is why Jesus came. Kaya po pumarito si Jesus Christ that we may have the presence of God in us to give us life and hope and peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh Lord, in this time, we acknowledge that you are here with us and that you are our good God. We humble ourselves before you. Sa oras po ito, we pray that you would embrace and comfort each and every person who is here today, especially po ang family ni J.I. Napakahirap po. Kawalan ng mahal sa buhay. It is so hard to lose a dearly loved one. And so that's why we ask right now, O Lord, that you would comfort us, that you would envelop us with your loving embrace, that you would fill us, Lord, with your joy. Kayo po ang pinanggagalingan ng aming kaligayahan at kapayapaan. The peace that comes from you. We pray that your peace and joy will be felt by each and every person in this place today. We thank you, Lord. By your grace, Lord God, we believe that our lives are in your hands and in you we find hope. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen.
on behalf po of my family, ako po, ako po si Pastor James de la Cruz, galing po kami sa Quezon City. On behalf of our family and the Life Giver Christian Family Ministries, where our church is situated, we sympathize with the family. With all of you, the family and the friends and the loved ones of JR. I'm here po at the request po of Tina. We, we have been meeting online since August of last year. And we have been journeying together in this season of grief. I did not have the opportunity to personally meet JR. Hindi ko siya nakilala. But from how Tina described JR, natutunan ko po, I gathered that JR was a man who loved and cared for his family. JR was a man who loved his friends. A kind of individual with a very big heart and was always easy to be around. Pero what I appreciated the most about JR and what I want to highlight today in this short devotional is that JR was someone who valued his faith in God. He valued his faith in God and it is this fact that makes me hold on to the grace of God and the truth of God's word that those who have gone ahead of us, who put their trust in the Lord, is forever comforted in the presence of God. Naniniwala po ako na if we truly trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we are comforted in His presence after our lives here on earth. This comforting truth of God's Word, it has many implications for us who are still here. And as I share them to you, it is my prayer that they will bring peace and joy to our grieving hearts and encourage us to live on with a renewed sense of hope and joy that comes from the Lord. When I say po na I sympathize with you, I mean it with my heart. Kasi I also lost my father during the height of the lockdown season, although not because of COVID. Losing a loved one, hindi madulog. Never easy to navigate the loss of a loved one. I remember on one particular day when I was grieving and my heart was broken over the loss of my father, I came to the realization that there will be a void, a vacuum.